here we are in the boat. Red Rooster Free. Starting out. Ready to kick some ass. Three day, <laughs> three day trip. Going out of the port here. We're on the top deck. We're down the bait tanks. Everybody down below. We haven't been to the bait receiver yet. A little bit of San Diego going on in the background. We're pulling out. Oh, you want to tell that story for the camera? <laughs> yeah, better. Come on. What was that again? This is Tim. He's telling a Tim. beautiful deck story. And then, story. A, and then, and then, a, and then a 10 days, you know, they got 20, 25 men on the boat, you know. They get all horny. Pretty soon you know the... Uh, oh, he's so horny, huh? In the refrigerator. <laughs> you know, all the little melons stop disappearing from the refrigerator. Are you squeezing on the melons? <laughs> so. or, oh, no, they're poking all <laughs> in it. Picking the fresh fruits, huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> oh, no, I never thought of that. Wow. <laughs> the fruit basket. <laughs> oh man, see we're rookies. We didn't know about the fruit. I guess once we get a couple more years on us, we'll know all about it. Yeah, we're the just young fruit. young lads here. Huh? <laughs> and then you got your ones that are a bit more crafty. Scored. This boy's sitting here all alone and he's got one little slit. A fishing hole. He's got his own private little fishing hole. Look, he's just waiting. He's being quiet not to. Uh, uh. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. It's in there somewhere. I see him. I see him. There he is. Uh, gotta get him. Get him. There he is. Oh! Did he get it? No. Damn near got his head stuck. <laughs> Here we go again. See, now he's looking and he's fishing. And this guy behind him is going, I think he's got it all figured out. But there's only room for one in there, so they're waiting in line. They must have to take a number somewhere. Yeah. Hey, oh, did he get it? No. Day one down in the galley. That's where Kurt and I are living right now. Got all kinds of great stuff here. Hi, I'm John, passenger Red Rooster. Of course, Playboy, cigars, stuff. Kurt, this is where he snores his ass off up here. He brought an extra pillow, lucky bastard. My dig's down here, a little cubby hole. Nice little bunk. Back to this, I look a little worked because uh, I'm up to number six, Kurt's about number three, wide open, blue fin bite, anywhere between 20 to 50 or 60 pounds. They were bigger this morning. So I'm gonna go up top and see if I can film him getting one and some of the crew and everything. Let's see what's going on up there. What was that again? I said, uh... <laughs> what was, how many fish you have? One? 12. I said one? Carry the one. <laughs> <laughs> how many how many years of school have you been in, Kurt? <laughs> twenty yeah, years? Twenty years experience. I uh, graduated tenth grade twice. <laughs> Here's Kurt. It's not a big one. Went from snoring snoring to rip roaring on the fish. What color yet? We've been fighting him about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Kurt, you got a little sweat going. Any reason for that? Overdressed this morning. <laughs> Some deep color. Real deep color. a little albacore? Yeah. Five pounds skip maybe? Jack. Seven pounds? Or is that just your bait you're trying to get in? It's a skipjack. It's your bait. <laughs> there we go, some color. It's 
keep those still. Fish I caught, kick some maize. There goes John, gonna get on the hot corner. That's probably a backlash right there. For all you girls, there's a nice ass shot. DJ John Bishop in those high yellows. Vinyl. Maybe the upgraded nylon versions. Of course, I got the cheap wrap duct tape. And there's John Bisha hooked up. Oh, looks like the battery's dead, so that's all for this filming, folks. John's got the whole rail all to himself. Here we go. Kurt! Right above you. Got the camera on, brother. I saw that got the whole thing. Did you? Yep, the bait tank all the way to throwing it out to hooked up. Whole system. Alright, now if he farms it, it's on film. <laughs> there he goes. Going down the rail. Alright, I'm humping the bow. <laughs> Now you get to hear me commentating yours. <laughs> That's pretty sweet how you guys switched off. Now he's There's Dan the man tearing it up on the bow. Say hi to the fans, Dan, when you get a chance. <laughs> oh my god, even a biologist. Hey, a little help on the anchor there. There you go. It's getting a little hectic around the anchor, but we got... This is how you fight a fish. That's how, just like that? Just give it to the deck hand. Yeah, the big guy. Let the big guy put the hurt to him. So those little wussy DJs. <laughs> I wouldn't. Hey, at least you got that orange hat in case you... hat off. In case you go overboard. You better put that back on. You better <laughs> game over. <laughs> oh, John's got some competition. Got the girl horsing it in. John's standing there picking his age. <laughs> All right, Let's see how it goes here. We're just gonna see. All right, it's gonna get a little hectic here. All right, we're back in action. Gonna talk a little shit since he was filming me snoring. <laughs> uh -oh. He decided he didn't want to go down to that now. Make another run back up. All right, look at that. This pocket where they like to sit. In the corner, man. Oh, John's. 
I'm getting killed now. There's Jump. Oh, that look crazy. Okay, there we have it. Three day trip to the scoreboard, day one. Goofin tuna, 140, 148. Melba core, 87. For total, 136. And day number two, bluefin tuna, 73, albacore, 57, and dorado, 5 for 135 for a total of 371 fish for the trip on the Red Rooster, September 16th through September the 19th. Not too bad. Well worth the money. Big. That's all I do is catch fish. Kurt, what this go? 42.6 42, six on Kurt's biggie. Is that the leader so far? That's the first one. I don't know. But I'm not so sure if one of these are... Kurt's pile of fish. No, I, this one, I mean, you could go that one. Because well, look at the fat. He's fat, but is he bent? Kurt's pile. And this one, too. John's pile. I walked in too bad. Hey, buddy.